May 25, 2022 Daily Devotional. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Perfect submission, perfect delight, visions of rapture, now burst on my sight, angels descending, bring from First Kings chapter 19 verse 4 But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a broom tree. And he asked that he might die, saying, It is enough now, O Lord. Take away my life, for I am no better than my father's. Surrendering to your limits Have you ever felt that you were like Superman or Superwoman who never gets tired when working? Instead of getting 7 to 8 hours of sleep, you chose to work for 13 to 14 hours a day and still feel energetic to add and do more things? 
Michael Ginger said burnout is what happens when you try to avoid being human for too long. Maybe many of us have experienced burnout already. When I was in a seminary, we had classes from Monday to Friday. Then on weekends, we had Christian services where we were required to help at our chosen church. Imagine, school on Monday to Friday, then Christian services on Saturday and Sunday. As I reminisce about my five years of staying there, I realized that I wasn't happy doing those things before. I cried almost the whole day while asking why I felt tired, drained, and unenthusiastic when sometimes I have slept nearly 15 hours already. I didn't notice that I was experiencing burnout. As God's prophet, Elijah was the one God always talked to in giving instructions and messages to the Israelites. The Israel rulers during this time were King Ahab and Jezebel, known as the most wicked leaders they ever had. Elijah really had a hard time fulfilling the work God assigned to him because of them. The story went on, Elijah did this and that, obeyed God to go here and there, and felt tired. He said, It is enough now, O Lord. Take away my life, for I am no better than my father's. Maybe we can also say the same thing if we were in his situation. Elijah was tired. He knew that he was at his limit already to the point of giving up. Have you ever felt that before? As we can see in the verse, Elijah realized that he had to surrender to his limits. We can actually relate to him. We keep on doing things, but it seems like we have no limitations at all. We need to remember that we are also limited beings. We were created with limitations, and even machines grow weary to the point of destruction. How much more are we humans with senses? We need to know when to surrender to our limits to avoid burnout. We are warriors of God, but as a song, A Warrior is a Child states, you are not superhuman. You are a human with limitations. Reflection Understanding and respecting our limits are one of the most important characteristics we should cultivate. God created the day for us to do things we need to do, then the night for rest. Get enough rest and do self-care. Learn to know and surrender to your limitations for you to avoid burnout. Like Elijah, God will give us plenty of tasks, but He wants us to rest as well so that we can be trusted on the thing God wants us to do. Prayer Lord, thank you for making me realize that I am human. I get tired, I have my limitations, and as I notice these, please help me take good care of myself to serve you more with excellence. Lord, Grant me the rest that I need holistically. Help me be a good steward of the body that you created. Thank you, Lord, for you are my rest, and I can embrace my limitations by your grace. In Jesus' name, amen.